Hi guys, welcome to my crazy life. It's Lori and I have an unboxing for you today. This, my friends, is the Yeesol G1 Elephant Spin Bike. It was sent to me for review, so I did not pay for it, but as always, the opinions are my own. We are in my basement and I'm gonna set this up and then I will talk to you about the specs and how much I'm loving it. Now, right out the back, it comes in two boxes. Uh, you have this box here, which is the bicycle. I believe that the shipping label said it weighed like 89 pounds. So just be aware it's heavy. I have a second box because this baby comes with a 32 inch monitor, a 32, because you can not only spin on this, but you can do yoga, you can do aerobics, there's classes, there's a free platform, a paid for platform. I think it's gonna be pretty comparable to the Peloton. I'm not sure. Um, the only other thing I purchased, I did go to Five Below and I got some of these um, foam squares that snap together for like your gym floor. I got these because I have carpet down here and I don't know what a spin bike will do to my carpet. So I figure I'll set it up on these. I bought six. I don't think I'm gonna need six. And I can take them back. So let me put this thing together and I will be right back. All right, while I give you a quick tour, let's talk about some specs. The screen is a 32 inch HD. It is projected from your phone, so it is not touch screen. Um, it is black, it is steel. The maximum height for your person is 6.2 feet. The minimum would be 4.9 feet. The resistance mechanism is magnetic. Um, it does plug into your power source. The maximum weight would be 265 pounds and the number of resistant levels is 100. You connect through Bluetooth with your Wi-Fi. Uh, Yeesol Sports is the app. And the maximum height of the seat above the floor is 36.2 inches. Okay, guys, I got it built. Um, it took me, I don't know, half an hour, 45 minutes. Here's the thing. It wouldn't have taken as long, but I didn't open both boxes because I didn't realize that in the monitor box was the power cord and the paper instructions. Oh, where'd they go? Let me grab them. So in the big box, you get all of your tools, um, right? All of the screws for the most part are in the holes that they belong in. You just back them out with whatever tool is required. You do whatever the directions say, and then you put the screw right back in. This is a little loose. I don't, I don't know. It's loose. Um, but you get all of your tools. And then in with the monitor is the directions, how to put it together in English and your power cord. So open both boxes, make sure you get your paper directions out. Because the video that I have that was sent to me doesn't have this monitor. I think this is the pro version, if I'm not mistaken. So there is a 32 inch monitor, as you can see, and it does a 365 degree turn. So let's turn you around. I'm a little crowded right now down here. I have to reset up, but it will turn 365 degrees. So if you're taking a course or something not on the bike, you just turn that around and it also pivots. Um, that's the other thing I will like remind you or tell you in advance. You hook it up here. There's a screw and a Allen wrench goes in here. Also, you don't want to go spinning it around. You'll pull your cord out. You want to go this direction but um actually i should probably unhook it and do the cord from here to here and then you could anyway um you need to tighten that down a lot because you need the resistance to hold the monitor up so there was that um everything you deal with is on your phone i record on my phone so i can't show you the app but everything you use to record, you use to control this monitor is on your phone. There's an app you sign up. There's a free version and then there's a paid version. When I just logged in, the paid version was $60 for the year. So it's $1.15 a week. You get access to all the data, all the classes. Um, it does track things for you. So like if I'm in Dutch right now, I don't know why it has me in Dutch. Oh, it's just telling me what it can do. So this is like the home screen until you set up your app. This is not a touch screen. Don't touch it. 
I mean, you can touch it, but it's not a touch screen. Everything goes from your app. So, you know, I would turn it this direction to face me. I do need to tighten that down a little bit um, just because I want it a little higher on that. And then I'm gonna take you on just a little tour of the bike and talk you through a few things that aren't up this tall. Okay, so we have the monitor up here, and this is the cord I was telling you about. I mean, I guess it is correct. You just don't wanna go spinning it around and around. You wanna, if you're gonna move it, you move it, and then you push it back the same direction, or you're gonna end up breaking these two cords. There is a USB back here. I'm not really sure what that's for. I'm assuming you could hook up other classes. If you want to pivot your monitor, like up and down like that, Right here, you have an Allen wrench, and all these are in the packaging. So you have an Allen wrench right there. This is the cable that connects your power. It goes through the frame all the way down and to the power outlet over here. Now, this is your water bottle holder. There are two of them. You could probably, I would say, put your phone in one, and or you could sit your phone here, or just put it wherever. Um, I don't, I don't know. This doesn't seem too sturdy to me. That is one thing I've noticed. This is kind of not sturdy. So I don't know that I would put heavy water in here. It doesn't matter. It's a bike. I'm not going anywhere. I can put my water wherever. Um, so right here, this knob, you screw and unscrew and it allows you to raise and lower your handlebars. So depending on how tall you are or how high you want it. This is just indicating it's on. The wheel is operated by magnet. So here you go, you turn this to get your tension. The cool thing is when you're riding, however much you have this turned, the monitor will tell you what your temperature, I mean your temperature, what your uh, resistance is, which is really a good feature. It also tracks how far you've gone, how many calories you're burning, because when you set up the app, you're putting in your vital statistics. Um, like I said, the wheel does spin um, and the resistance is magnetic. It's super quiet, which I do love. Um, back here, you have a pretty big chain wheel, which is great because that helps you you know, build up more momentum and go a little faster. Um, I'm sure there's science, but I don't know what that is. Um, back here, this screws out. It allows you to raise and lower your seat. As you can see, I'm on six, and I believe it goes up to 10. I'm in the middle somewhere. This screw here, you unscrew it, and it will allow you to move your seat um, in and out depending if you need to be closer or further back. And these are the free weights. They are one kilogram. Um, and they just have their own little spot. Seat is very comfortable. I, so let me get up off this floor. I tend to, when I ride my bicycle, I wear biking shorts, which are padded, but my seat is much firmer. I don't feel like I will need to wear bike shorts with this. This is definitely padded enough. And I wouldn't want to wear too much padding because then you get ouchies. So let me give you the view. So this is on. my view of this monitor. It's pretty fantastic. Um, and I'm pedaling. Now there are at the base, sorry, I'm in my basement, down here, Right here, those little wheels is how you would move this around. It is awkward with the monitor on, I'm not gonna lie. So probably build it where you want it. And there's foam all over my floor, that'll get vacuumed up. But underneath there are some pads that you can screw to balance it. If you feel wobbly, your floor may not be even, that happens. Um, I love it that you have your grip. So I can lean, I can sit upright. Um, like I said, that's kinda shaky. I'm gonna have to look into that. And that's where you would put your water bottles. And honestly, for me, that's kind of a far reach because I'm kind of short. Um, so that's a little bit of a reach for me. But I can just honestly put my water behind me. And then there's your monitor. And it is amazing. Now, other thing. I only needed two of these square foams to put the bike on. So I'm going to return the other four because I don't need them. So two of these gym blocks is enough room and I even have a little spare room behind me but the reason you want something down on the floor is because you know it can tear up your carpet and you don't really want that constant moving to tear up your carpet I don't even have tennis shoes on I'm in my basement guys I'm in my 
bare stock and feet. Oh, petals. So the petals have this neat guard, which is great. The one thing I did notice is it doesn't have petals for cleats. So I'm wondering if you can order them. I'm assuming this is all universal, like these petals are just universal. So if you want cleats to pedal in, you can order those. I don't know if you can get them from the company. I Ooh, I'm stuck. I'm getting down. I'm getting down. Um, I don't know if you can order them from the company or online. But they do have a foot cage. And you can, you would tighten that foot cage to fit your specific shoe. And that just helps you keep your feet on. It's very, very standard. Now, a lot of spin bikes I've been at, like the gym, on the bottom side would have a way to lock your cleat in. And then again, this is your, your resistance knob right here. Yeah, overall, I think it's pretty fantastic.